What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. In today's episode, we are going to be with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department patrolling in this slick top Dodge Charger. I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. If it's your first time stopping by, if you can hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. And we're going to try to stay in the Sandy Shores area, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's begin this patrol right now. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln, 18. We've got a robbery in, uh, Grande Sonora Desert. All right, dispatch, go ahead and show me 1097, uh, code 2 out to that. So we have a robbery at the uh, discount store in the Grand Sonora Desert, which is going to be over here on Route 68. So we're going to be making our way over there. It's going to be in the Harmony area. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's a clothing store or if it's a liquor store. It's probably going to be the clothing store, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be making our way over there as quickly as we can. We're kind of kind of a little bit out, but here we go. Robbing, uh, or arriving on scene to this robbery. Not sure if this is going to be the person's vehicle. Yeah, which one is it? It's not the bank, is it? Ah, it's going to be right there. So we're going to try to sneak up to this car. Sir, drop the weapon. Drop that weapon, sir. Nope, you are not even going to get to me. Not even going to happen. Don't know if there's only one suspect. Looks like there's going to be... Uh... Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. You moron. Where is he? We are not playing that game. I'm sorry, bud. I don't kill animals, but... I am not going to die today. I got bit. My health is down. So this is all going to be clear. It looks like there's only going to be one suspect and uh, one shopkeeper. So it's just a solo operation, but we do want to check before we, before we do anything. So yeah, it's just going to be that guy right there. Uh, dispatch, can we get a 1052 out to our location? All units. Medical aid requested in um, Grande Sonora and, Desert. Units reporting uh, a civilian shot. An ambulance requested from uh, Sandy Shores. Respond code 3. Oh, you know what? I see now that I have to end the call like this. Dispatch, you can go ahead and show this call code for Attention, form. this is dispatch. We are code I'm going to have a dog down and uh, let me get my vehicle on the road. We are going to have a dog down inside. I'm wondering if I can get a vet out here for that. Work with me, damn it. Looks like he's going to try to save me. Let's see if he's going to come out. There we go. Oh, shit. Ha, worth it. Appreciate it. All righty. So I am all fixed up. Nope, this one's Let's see gone. if they're able to save him. Don't know if they're going to try to save the dog or not. Ah, oh, not again. All units, code four. All right, so dispatch, we're going to have 11144. We are also going to have an animal here that is 1144 that tried to attack us. So if you could go ahead and send us out a corner to our location. We're going to be on Route 68 at the discount. Is that what it is? It's, it's actually called the discount store. Never knew that. Uh, but yeah, they the coroners are going to be arriving on scene. I want to adjust my camera. There we go. That's how I had it. Uh, but yeah, coroners are going to be arriving on scene. Let's go ahead and turn our lights off. Scene is code 4. And uh, dispatch, you can go ahead and show us. 10-8, we will be returning to patrol. Don't know what the EMS is doing. They're uh, losing their mind as usual. Uh, but we're going to make our way back to Sandy Shores. I'm going to take this way and hit up Joshua Road, and we will see what happens next. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln, 18. We have a traffic alert. Drive, a drive by, by attack. attack. All right. All right, dispatch, show me 1097 out to that location so we are trying to uh catch up to a vehicle that is wanted in connection with a drive-by attack um probably also known as a drive-by shooting attention um, unit one lincoln 18 looks Attention's like it's going to be this bison 
let's uh, not overdo it. Hopefully they stop for us. Come on. There we go. Let's get them off to the side of the road. That way we're not in the middle of the road. That'll work for us. Hopefully that's not blocking their driveway too much. Uh, dispatch, we're going to have that vehicle stop that at Algonquin Cross of Armadillo. If you could go ahead and send me a 1032 um, plate on that vehicle is going to be 04 John Sierra George 512. It's going to be on a gray or white. It's a white bison. And Tom Malishi. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, talk to him. And see what's going on. And there we go. They're taking off. On, oop, 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 oop. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right, dispatch. We are going to be in a 1080 priority traffic. Going to be headed westbound Algonquin. At this time, it's going to be a white bison. Uh, it has some kind of uh, construction trade name on the side of the truck. Speeds are currently 60 miles per hour. We are going to be headed westbound on East Joshua. Okay, it's West Joshua Road. Westbound, West Joshua Road. Don't know where my backup is. You can roll me two additional 1032s. That would be great. Here they are popping in on our screen. Come on, get... I don't know why that intersection's so bad for me. Or is it this one? I don't know. Maybe it's this intersection. I tend to always crash whenever whenever I hit it. Yep, this is the intersection. Still dispatch, we are going to be westbound, Joshua. I don't know why they're slowing down. Like, you're already in a pursuit. You might as well not be slowing down. We're going to be turning off onto Calafia Road, headed northbound. Calafia Road. I guess it could technically be west, but I'm going to say northbound. Still northbound Calafia, just passing the uh, biker gang, Stab City, that's it. Speeds are pretty slow at this time, about 40 miles per hour. We're slowing up even more. Um, we're going to be heading into the forest here in a second. Speeds are uh, under 40 miles per hour at this time. Still northbound Calafia. Let's go ahead and uh, let's ask dispatch for a pit. They keep slamming on their brakes. All right, uh, dispatch speeds are pretty slow at this time. There is uh, not much traffic, and the weather is clear. Yeah, we are going to be cleared to pit. So as soon as we get a nice open straightaway, that's where we will do it, and it will not be on this bridge. Don't know what he keeps doing. He keeps slowing down. All right, right after this, we should be able to get him. Holy crap, this... Charger does not do good at pits at all. Oh my goodness. Get in your car so you can shut the sirens off. That's just crazy. Are they stuck? Okay, they're not stuck, so that's good. Where's the driver? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know where he's at. Sir. Get out of the truck, Stop both of you. Of get out doing. of the truck and get face down. I don't know what those officers were doing. They got me all confused up in here. I'm going to get the driver first. Passenger, I'm not really uh, too concerned about. Sir, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You are being placed under arrest for a possible warrant. Go ahead and get this other guy. Hopefully they can shut their siren off. All right, have a seat for me, sir. You gonna shut that siren off or what? Nope. Obviously, it's another one. That's just wonderful. Good old GTA logic. Let's go ahead and search the truck. If we can. Passenger side is coming back with a flash drive, so that's nothing. Almost fell down that hill. So yeah, at least they didn't go into the water. That's uh, when when they got pushed off the side of the road. That uh, is what I was scared of. Can't really see much, but I'm in there digging. Found a skydiving ticket and a Springfield 1903 rifle. All right, dispatch, can you go ahead and roll us a 1051 for this bison? And let's go ahead and let's start with you. Uh, let me see, is there any way I can get up this? 
Can we do it non-legitly? Yep, just like that. Oh my gosh. I was actually up there too. Holy crap. Come on. What if I go around this way? Am I going to have to go all the way around? I hope not. Alright, we got one. We are dragging him through the road. The tow truck's basically SOL. I didn't want to punch him. Have a seat. Thank you. Alright. Uh, did he kill the other guy? Nope. He's still okay. Wonderful. Stand up for me, sir, so I'm not dragging you through the dirt. Obviously, that would not be nice on your knees like I did to your other pail over there. Uh, so, sir, do you have anything on you that can poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form before we put you into the back of our police vehicle? What's he got on him? A train ticket to Polito Bay. All right, have a seat for me, sir. We will be right with you. And you, sir, please go ahead and stand up. And do you have anything on you that can poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form? And then we will get their IDs as Just soon as they get, the get into the car. A fl another flash drive. A taser and a pair of sunglasses. All righty. Uh, we're going to move this scene because I am not going to sit here with uh, sirens on. Let's go ahead and move over here, down the road. Hopefully they will disappear after a little bit. All right, this looks like a good area right here. It's a little bit of a banged up car. All right, sir, uh, let's go ahead and get our phone up. Pad check, what's your name? Jake Wilson's gonna be our driver, 129-1969. He's coming back wanted. So that is the guy we were looking for. Let's see who the passenger is. If he is not, this is Anton Malichi, which I believe that was his car. He's going to be valid with no active warrants. Um, but because it was his car and that car came up on an ALPR, I'm going to say that they're, uh, they're both going to be guilty. They're both going to have to go in. I, I'm not really sure how to handle that uh, because the car didn't have flags and uh, Mr. Anton doesn't have any uh, anything else. Um, he has a long gun permit, uh, and it's concealed. I don't know how you could have a concealed long gun, uh, unless it's concealed in your car. But so This is going to be for nonviolent crimes. We're going to get him for a warrant for arrest, resisting arrest, and then let's get into traffic. And we're going to have reckless driving, evading arrest. All righty, and that'll be, that'll be it for him. Let's go ahead and get the other guy, Mr. Uh, Anton. This guy, we're just going to uh, book him for a simple ar resisting arrest. Um, and he could probably get it dropped, to be honest, um, if he can prove his innocence. But I am not the judge, and I do not want to be the judge. So, dispatch, can you go ahead and roll us a 1032 Assistant for Phoenix two suspects that are um, in, in custody? Um, let's see, can I cancel that tow truck? No, I cannot. All right. Well, he's going to be stuck there forever, I'm guessing. That Tahoe is just so dirty. You need to definitely take that thing in. They're probably out there uh, running her through some mud puddles. But dispatch, we are going to be 10-8, and we will be returning to patrol, headed back to um, Sandy Shores. But I'm going to stop this guy on the bike because he just... He just, uh, even that Saddler was going pretty fast, but this guy on the bike, he might be under the influence or something. Come on, pull it over. Pull it over, man. Am I not close enough? There we go. That's what it was. I wasn't close enough. Almost had to call it a 1080. All right. Uh, yeah, we're just going to stop him real quick. He, uh, he swerved in front of that car. I'm not really sure why. Um, dispatch, we are going to be out on a 1011 on uh, <clears throat> Calafia Road. Plate on a Sanchez is going to be 24 Henry Oxford X ray like 636. Coming back is Demarcus Milton, no insurance, three violation. citations. Proceed with caution. No big deal. We're just going to talk to him. Hopefully, uh, it'll be just a warning. Hello, sir. Uh, Deputy Miller with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Reason for the stop today is you uh, you swerved in front of that uh, that truck back there and 
or van, whatever it was, and I am just concerned. I just want to uh, see if I can get your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration for the vehicle. Get that up. would be excellent. All right, thank you, Mr. Milton. And have you had anything to drink today? Yep, stay hydrated. All right, how about have you taken any drugs in the past hour? No, okay. Uh, so, yeah, just go ahead and hold tight, Mr. Milton. We'll be right back with you. So based on the drinking thing, now he could just be, you know, screwing with us and he actually drank water or something. You know, you really don't know. You don't know. But we are just going to run him, see what he's got. Valid, everything's valid. A violation of right away, leaving the scene of an accident, and expired driver's license. So no prior DUIs. It's a good sign. That is a good sign going into this. Um, but we are still going to breathalyze him. All right, sir, based on your driving, I am going to have you blow into this device. I need to make sure you are not driving. There we go. Make sure you're not driving under the influence of alcohol. Okay, so I guess you were just screwing with me. Uh, well, today I'm just going to let you go on a warning. It is your go lucky on. day. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, so he was. He was just screwing with me that he actually had, like, you know, water or pop or something to stay hydrated. But dispatching, go ahead and show us. 10-8, we will be returning to patrol. Citizens report a Grand Theft Auto in progress in uh, Sandy Shores. All right, dispatch, go ahead and show me 1090. Sup? Where is this at? Is it in front of us? It looks like it. Uh, so it's a pursuit. So a Grand Theft Auto should be uh, a car theft, but it's not. This is going to be a pursuit. Dispatch, we are going to be 1097 code three. Uh, we are going to be gaining sight on that suspect at this time. Hopefully, with luck, we can catch up. What is it? Uh, looks like a possibly, looks like possibly a Dukes. Not really sure, but could you get me two additional dispatch? I'm gonna get you a plate here in just a minute. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! You don't ever pull out in front of somebody like that. Come on, AI! Look at them driving right across the road. They're idiots. They are idiots. You don't ever do that. Ever, ever, ever. You don't ever pull out in front of somebody in a pursuit. All right, let's see if we can get that plate. Plate is going to be, oh, it's a Sabret, all right. 6-3, Henry, Zebra, Boy, 7-2-3, and he just major 10 in the back of a vehicle. We are going to be on Sonora Road, headed southbound towards the city. No registration. Yasmin Stone is our registered owner. So, man, our second pursuit of the day. Holy smokes. Just a exciteful day today in San Andreas. And I don't know why you're hitting your brakes. I just don't get it. Still southbound Sonora Road. Speeds are approximately 40 miles per hour at this time. Slowing down. He just pat or she or he or whoever it is. Don't know what the suspect's description is. But Grand Theft Auto would mean that uh, the vehicle is probably stolen. Still southbound Sonora. Approaching speeds of 90 plus miles per hour at this time. What do I have? I've got, looks like I've got two units with me. So we could go in for a pit. Uh, we don't follow like a five minute time or anything here in LSPDFR. Ooh, hitting major brakes. Dispatch, we are going to ask for a pit. Speeds are moderate, uh, streets are pretty clear, and the weather is clear, and we are going to be clear to pit. We have got a perfect time right now. Let's see if that works. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 you are not doing it. Dispatch, they are going to be flipping around. Pit unsuccessful at this time. Let's see if we can get them out right here. Come on. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. We have a stolen vehicle somewhere. Where is it? This car. Oh, it might be this car. We're going to go for the driver. Sir, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You are being placed under arrest at this time. You know what? It is. It's going to be that car. I was not sure who that was. Looks like they're going to get that passenger for me. The AI cops are not doing horrible today, I got to say. Alrighty, sir, do you have anything on you that can poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form? Did their car disappear? No, thank goodness. A fishing license and a receipt to Ponza Bees. Alrighty. Let's 
Let's go ahead and back up. Hopefully their car doesn't disappear. Let's flip around before this coquette gets in our way. Alrighty. They've already got transport units out for the passenger. Did not I did not notice it was a female or a male. Let's not well we can search the trunk. There we go. A suitcase in the back, so not not a suitcase with money, unfortunately. That's always nice to find. Found a forged ID card, a map of Sandy Shores, and multiple empty bottles of alcohol. So we are going to check him, see if he is driving under the influence. That could be the reason why he did what he did today. You just don't know. Another forged ID, multiple bloodstains, multiple containers of painkillers, an iFruit success case, and a pair of gloves. Excellent. All right, dispatch, can you roll us a 1051 out to our location for uh, this Sabra? We are going to be on Sonora Road. Hopefully they can get here pretty quick, like, pretty quick, like, come on. They are stuck up on that. All right, I guess we'll move it. We'll go ahead and move it. And, yeah, the uh, from the other call that we had... Are you serious? You're not going to get in the car? Probably because it's under tow. So, while we are waiting for the tow, let's go ahead and write up the arrest report on this guy. Don't even know who we have in the back of our car. That seems legit. All right. Uh, sir, what's your name? Charlie Bone, 581962. Ooh, we need to make sure he's not under the influence. Sir, please go ahead and blow into this device. I need to make sure you are not under the influence of alcohol. He's coming back valid. No active warrants. Uh, he's at a .72, so he's actually under the legal limit. Sucker. So that's not an additional charge that we can cross. Charlie Bone, valid, valid. He has been arrested. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and clear out of here so that I can move off. To I cannot believe that did not destroy my car. All righty. We're just going to clear off to the side of the road, and let's get back into our computer. All right. All right. Charlie Bone. Let's see what he's got. Controlled substance and a warrant for his arrest. Trespassing as are his citations that he's had. So we're going to get him for this. Vehicle was stolen. That's what we were originally, uh, originally dispatched to for a Grand Theft Auto. It just turned into a turned into a pursuit uh, we're gonna have reckless driving leaving the scene of an accident evading arrest man I almost want to tag him for driving under the influence but I don't think it would stick so I guess we'll have to get him for that for now uh, dispatch can you go ahead and roll us a 1032 out to our location for Mr. Charlie Bone and are we gonna have a city or what city unit I don't know, but they're probably going to take a while because they're stuck up on that road. Here we go. Ooh, it's the sheriff again. Is it a different sheriff? Asshole. Nope, it's the same kind. Even dirty, just like the last one. Man. All right, dispatching. Go ahead and show us 10-8. We will be returning to patrol, and we are going to be 1097 back to Sandy Shores. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a robbery in uh, Sandy Shores. All right, dispatch, show me 1020, 1097, code 3. I was going to say 1023 on scene, but there is, now I will be 1023 on scene. All right, uh, I don't know where he's at. Let's see. We've got a line of sight right here. Don't know if there's two of them or not. Let's go ahead and get our carbine out. There is going to be two. All right, dispatch. Uh, 1023 on scene. We've got two possible suspects, and we're going to have two store clerks. Not really sure how I'm going to do this. Um, sir, put down the weapon and walk out. We do not need to do this. Nope, you're not even going to do it. He already got him. I should have went for him first. All right, let's go ahead and clear the store. 
Uh, dispatch, can you roll us uh, 1052s out to our location? All right, that side's clear. We're going to have four people down at the 24 7. All right, clear, and let's check the back. We're going to be clear in the back. Oh, not good. Let's go ahead and pick up their weapons. I tried getting them, but it was just a. Uh, just did not work out, uh, and that kind of happens when you don't have backup. That's kind of what happens. Ooh, we don't want to get there. All right, let's go ahead and park up right there. Ooh, that's not good. But what do you do? We're just going to block off the road here. I'm sorry, bud. You guys picked the wrong day. The wrong the day. There we go. We deleted them. And let's go ahead and remove near a sign. There we go. Gosh darn it. They're just going to keep spawning in the middle of this thing. So hopefully they can, uh, you know, save some of these people. I always enjoy it. Oop, that one sucked. That one sucked. There we go. That should be good. And let's go ahead and remove this one. There we go. And the biker's gone, so that's alrighty. So let's see what we have going on in here. Alright, so that's 111.44. If he walks away, that means that we lost all of them. So looks like that one's going to be 11.44. So yeah. They're all 1144. All units, code four. Well, that kind of sucks. We did not do our job good. But what do you do? Come on. How did he get in the middle of this thing? He must have drove around the barrier. He must have. But dispatch, I'm going to need corners out to my location at this time. We can remove... Now my uh, stuff's all working. Yeah. Um, we're going to need corners out to the 24-7 at Alhambra and Nylon. And we are also going to need a 1051 out for this uh, Sanchez here. Alrighty. Hopefully they can get in there and get this place cleaned up. Don't know why. There we go. Paramedics driving into the car. That's always good. Yep, so all we have to do is wait for them to clear up, and then we will be back 10-8, returning to patrol. There's four of them, so it's going to take a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, dispatching, go ahead and show us 10-7... 1042 guys that's going to be the last call of the day uh, they're just finishing up in there and i'm going to let them do that and yeah that's going to be the last call i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of lspdfr and i will see you guys next episode